Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the KISS 24 hold, 24 hour flexible hold strip eyelash adhesive. The box look like looks like this and the little bottle looks like this. Um, this came out shortly after Revlon came out with their precision lash adhesive. I can't find my open one and I'm not going to open this one because this one's actually for someone else. But um, basically this just has an ultra thin brush and you brush it and it's supposed to be really, really, really easy. Which it is a lot simpler than using the duo glue because the duo glue you kind of don't have any control, you know. You can squirt it on um, the lash thingy or you can squirt it on like something and you know dip your lash in it that way but that's just too messy takes too much time um revlon was like their idea was really great but i still really didn't feel like i had the control that i have with this right here um this right here there, there's one complaint that i have about these things and that is that they are extremely messy the glue like gets everywhere But um, it's a little bottle just like this. It smells like really bad. It smells like really like glue. But this is what the applicator looks like. You see it has like a, a doe foot applicator. And then right here you've got this nice point. And what I love about this, and I'm going to show you in the tutorial on where I show you like how to actually apply it to the lash, lash strip and all that, is that it's, it's just you just have so much more control. It's sturdy. It's not like a flimsy brush that's still, you know, you still have to really have control of your hand movement. You can kind of just, if you're in a hurry, swoop, swoop. And then if you make a mistake, you can use this part of the applicator and just scrape off any excess glue that you may have on the lash. Or um, my biggest complaint with like duo lash glue or even the Revlon is that it got too far down on the lash strip where it was actually starting to touch the lashes. So to me that wasn't a good thing. So I absolutely love this stuff. It only comes in clear right now. I would absolutely love it if they came out with a dark one. That would be, I would be just absolutely satisfied if they came out with a dark one. So two complaints messy and I would love for it to come out in dark because I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the clear duo glue. I'm 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 more I like the the dark one better. But I think that's really it. Um it does say on here that it's odor free and it's definitely not odor free. Um another thing is that when these babies when you stick these things on your lashes they are not going anywhere. I have had this for months and I have been testing it for months water, um, I'm, I'm not saying go dive in a swimming pool or anything like that, but um, like crying or, you know, if it starts to rain, you're not going to have any fear of your lashes, let me bring this back out again, of your lashes going anywhere. And another thing is, is that this is super easy, even easier if the inner corner, like a lot of times the inner corner of the lashes will start to lift up or even the outer corner, you can just take this and kind of like position it and kind of get it in there and place it and you're good to go. So great for touch-ups. I will always have one of these on hand. Um, I just wish that they would start making it in the dark one. So I think that's all I have to say about this. Um, when you take them off, I would suggest taking them like using an oil-based makeup remover or some kind of oil because they do really stick to your lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the tutorial and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my lashes. These are the Adele Ardell Fashion Lashes number 131 and there are a million and one tutorials on how to apply false eyelashes. So this isn't going to be like an in-depth tutorial. I'm just, like I said, showing you um, how this kiss glue applies. So, you know, I'm just bending them so it can fit my eye better. I am taking the glue, 
downfall about this glue is that it's very messy, but look at the applicator. You see how it's got a nice tip to it, but then it's got like this doe foot, oh, would help if I put it in the camera, this doe foot applicator, it just makes it so much easier to apply glue to your lashes. And another cool thing about this is that if you do get too much glue, like if you get it too far down on the lashes, you can just take this tip and just scrape it and it's going to come off of the actual lash part. And that was my always my biggest complaint with um, putting on lashes is that I would always have, um, it on my like actual like on the actual lashes like pretty far down which is not a cute look okay so now I'm just going to look down now you can just kind of adjust how you want it so it blends with your lashes and that's it so thank you guys so much for watching this review on the kiss premium eyelashes adhesive thank you guys so much for watching bye